got to remove this cover right here. We got the tools ready to go. I'm getting the spark plugs ready. What's up, guys, and welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Bill Barry. If you haven't, please like, comment, and subscribe. Click that bell notification so you can be updated when we drop new videos. Like the spark plug socket. It's a specific socket just for spark plugs, but since this is down inside the engine, we can't grab it with our hands, so a little trick is to take back in you want to put that anti-seize on there so that they don't get locked in there or be stuck this one off there's no change but i mean that coil is not working what's up guys we back with another video we're about to be changing out the spark plugs here on this toyota camry we got to remove this cover right here we got the tools ready to go I'm getting the spark plugs ready. I can swap these out real quick. The check engine light is flashing, which normally means that it's a, a misfire, random misfire when the check engine light is flashing. So we're going to swap these plugs out. See what happens. Alright, we're going to start with a 10 millimeter socket to remove this cover right here. Doing it by hand. I cannot find my charger for some reason. For my ratchet the more we clean up the more stuff we're gonna find but I'm about to get it done all right once you remove this nice pretty vvt cover that they decorate the engines with it will give you access to the coil packs which is right here this is a four cylinder so of course we got four coil packs we're going to be removing these right here with the 10 millimeter as well i'm gonna go ahead and loosen all these up if it was an older vehicle we would have had spark plug wires running to the distributor or to a coil pack mounted somewhere else but on this vehicle the coil pack and boot is all together which just clamp into the spark plug down inside the engine. Alright guys, so we got this coil pack out right here without uh, disconnecting this from the harness but the other one went enough slack to lift it up so when we went to press it these things broke right here on the connector they pretty brittle but it pops down in there and these are stationary so they don't move around so it would be good because it got the cover over it but normally you have to change the pigtail so now this coil pack is going to come out right here in the order that they came out so we don't mix them up they could go back to the same cylinder now we're gonna uh, get a 5-8 socket and remove the spark plug Alright guys, so we got all the spark plugs loose. It's normally a little rubber boot that go down inside the spark plug socket. It's a specific socket just for spark plugs, but since this is down inside the engine, we can't grab it with our hands. So a little trick is to take the boot that's on the coil pack, stick that down in there, and voila, spark plug come out just like that. So we're gonna get all these swapped out. This one is pretty jacked up, so we're going to put the new ones in, get this thing right back on the road. replacing the new ones already 
but before you put them back in you want to put that anti seize on there so that they don't get locked in there or be stuck the next time you go to swap them out it'll make things a lot easier because you definitely do not want to strip one of those out inside of the cylinder head it will be a big headache for sure now we're going to go back and tighten them all up and then repeat the process of taking it apart do all that in backwards and you'll be good to go guys so we got this thing all back together everything is plugged in before we uh, put the cover back on there we're gonna go ahead and give it a first startup we're gonna check it out before we put this back on top it's just those two bolts so we're gonna get our first startup check over everything see how it works but that's how you change the spark plugs on the Camry 2007 or anything similar to it for a cylinder engine it's pretty much going to be similar on most vehicles all right guys so we got all the spark plugs back in there still having a misfire so we're, this is a quick way to check if you remove the thing you hear the engine idle and change when we plug it back up it's working so that let us know that that coil is working when we remove this one it goes out like that when you plug it back up that let us know that one is working when we take this one off there's no change so that mean that coil is not working it don't change at all which have the engine running like crap so we're going to try to get that one swapped out this one was actually on number three cylinder we wind up swapping them to see if it was going to be any change and just like we thought this one right here is not doing anything for the car right now all right guys so we took one of the coil packs off of my car it's a toyota as well we put that on there i'm gonna try it out and see what happens all right guys so the gopro died but we unplugged this it actually changed so when we plug it back up it ran a little bit smoother this coil pack is a little bit taller than the one that go on this year but still toyota plugged up helped us solve our problem which we kind of already figured it out because when we unplugged the original one nothing changed so that was letting us know that that cylinder was not firing but we're gonna get another one to get that changed out That'll be all for this video. Until next time, we out.